Welcome back to this week's review and analysis for the next week uh, as well. Um, not a lot is going on, so let's go through this um, more compact so I can keep you guys attention. Um, I pointed out a touch of the trend line uh, would be an entry area for me. Uh, it, it it happened a couple of weeks ago, two weeks ago I think. Um, I entered around this area and price started moving. I thought I would take my profit above the previous high and I did somewhere around I think it was 73 and a half. So there was more potential in this trade, but I uh, you know, I took my profit and uh, which was uh, which was okay. For now the review, enter, exit, a classical swing trade, um, waiting for another touch of the um, potential uh, upward trend. Uh, a touch is an entry for me and I will continue to um, swing trade Shopify. Um, earnings season has started so keep an eye out on when earnings will come out. So uh, don't be uh, going into a position if the next day is, is, is our earnings can make you a quick profit or a quick loss. So Shopify was a good one last week. IBM been looking at this one for quite some time. Uh, earnings were terrible. So we see this huge gap of 10 points. To me, IBM not trading it anymore this year. Um, terrible stock, uh, terrible earnings. Um, not trading this one anymore. I, I showed you guys on Instagram. Um, this setup is not valid anymore. These scenarios are off the table. Um, forget it. IBM, terrible. Um, next thing I, I added two weeks ago was uh, Starbucks. Um, I said this high, uh, th this, this, this resistance, uh, this should not be broken and around this area would be a nice entry. I entered, I did, uh, and I got stopped out again uh, as, at this level because for some reason price has some more potential to move to the upside um, also don't forget earnings season but considering this one still within the range because this is what, what, what we're at looking at for quite some time now this was in 2015 July 2015 so that is range trading for almost two years now um, that being said going back to the four hour chart if price does turn around in this demand zone, we will have another nice move to the downside where we will take our profits and where we are uh, looking at the, the supply the zone as well, where we can look for potential reversals again and, and go along and make money off this one again. Um, Starbucks. So that was another trade uh, last week, uh, which didn't work out. Um, but is still on my watch list because we can find a new entry. Then Volkswagen. It took quite some time for this one to work out, um, but finally it did. Let's look at the daily chart. This was the range. Um, quite some touches of this upper trend line, but this is what we want to see. A pin bar from support uh, going into a strong bullish uh, candle followed by another strong bullish candle <coughs> and quite obviously running into this uh, resistance zone so wait for pullback and then we will probably continue this move um, when I look at the four hour chart that, that was why it caught our attention in the first place we were seeing divergence quite some time pin bars started to form and then again when another touch appeared here this of course is a huge bullish uh, momentum uh, bullish candles showing us that price is finally breaking out of this uh, descending range so Volkswagen is finally in play then the opportunities for next week um, I draw this red one on there Adidas is strong uh, in May we will see earnings from Adidas um, Adidas has is, is looking like it's starting to see higher lows and higher highs so we are breaking out of this consolidation period moving back up um, from from here on out we can see a, an easily move for like eight to ten points um, expecting strong earnings so uh, this this could be a nice setup to the to the upside now why this red arrow 
Um, we have the French elections this Sunday, and if we see that uh, the the right wing will will win those elections, then we can see a huge gap down with potentially 10 to 20 points, uh, where will will be quite devastating, I think, for the for the stock and, and forex markets. Let's see what happens. Um, I do not look in the future. I trade what I see, but um, it's, it's exciting weekends like this or events like this. So. Um, Personally, I hate it. I want to trade within just the normal technical playing field, but the elections this weekend. So keep 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 in mind that we can see some really strange moves within the next week. Then I traded this one a lot, the U.S. dollar, Swiss franc, but this is starting to be a little bit annoying because we are seeing this reversal. Quite obvious. Go short, touch of trend line. Go short, touch of trend line. So you know this this is quite a, an easy pattern to watch. Um, you could you could have you could take this one short. Um, for some reason, with Mr. Trump saying that he has some tax reforms, I think the dollar bashing could could come to an end. But um, we'll never know. Um, not not trading it at the moment. So let's let's switch to some positions that I am actually trading to s finish this video with a nice opportunity this one is is maybe is interesting to watch I got a lot of questions about it questions go like why are you trading this every week because this is a terrible chart to watch there's no momentum no trending this is very long period of just consolidation and then downward trend that's correct that's why I like it um, we get this level the 1063 and we got this level the 174 so that's almost a full uh, move from from 6 to 7 uh, I trade this why do I do that because let me point that out maybe we can see it clear on the weekly it's, it's a bit bit confusing when we put this one in <coughs> this is what happening what is happening in this chart to me um, let me get the right tool, a rectangle. So this is a supply demand zone trade, support resistance as we all know how that goes. So this is um when price moves into this uh, descending trend line or when it moves into this uh, demand zone price uh, tends to turn around same goes for this uh, supply zone when price moves in there price takes off the other way around so that's the bigger picture on the daily chart when we zoom in on the four hour chart we see the same thing we see that this is uh, the, the upside of this channel of this range actually and below we see um, we don't see it right now, but there is the uh, demand zone. So what I what I do uh, in this in this case is within this 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 range, we can see another range over here, and we see another range over here. So for the last couple of weeks, I have been trading. I've been going long by touches of these inner su uh, supply and demand zones. Um, of course I see the bigger picture but sometimes you see the price moving within so you have to draw in some new support resistance lines some new channels some new ranges this is actually what I'm trading uh, all the time um, to scalp a little bit I'm, I'm, I'm a bigger time frame trader normally but this is uh, this this is how you do that um, so uh, let me make a, a nice uh, Instagram video about this as well uh, to show you guys in a minute what I'm doing actually um, get a lot of positive reviews on those kinds of videos so um, be looking out for that for now uh, with the French election I am not doing that much for next week um, so let's see earnings season is, 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 is in full effect so let's see what kind of uh, nice setups we will be uh, we will be getting technically and uh, keep that in mind have a good weekend see you next week